surface area to volume ratio is a comparison of surface area to volume. I will show you how to do the calculation in this video. We'll be using a cube to do the calculation on the size of the cube you could determine based on what you want to do. So I chose one, two, and three centimeters and I will be showing you the calculation hereafter. Now, the first thing we want to do in finding the surface area to volume ratio is to find the surface area of the object. Here it's a cube. So we want to pay attention to the sides on the cube. The cube has six sides, right? So it has a top and a bottom, we could say. It has a left and a right and also a back and a front based on where you're standing. Now, each side of this cube measures 2 cm. So, two, each side, any side, you'd get 2 cm. Now, to find the area, you are always going to multiply length times width. So, it's always going to be length times width. We'll talk about the H later. So, here we want to find the area of all the six sides of the cube and we could do a number of things now bear in mind to find the surface area it's nothing more than to find the area of the top and the bottom add it to the area of the left and the right and add that to the area of the back and the front let's look at it so the top we have a measurement of two and we did say length by width so length by width is going to give us two times two which is going to give us four centimeters square and that's the unit there then the bottom is going to be 2 times 2 again, length times width, and we got another 4 cm square. Then we want to now get into the real maths of the day, which is finding the surface area for the entire cube. Now we could do it by first finding length times width of the top, or of the bottom, or of the left, or right, or of the front, or of the back. But what we have done instead is to just find the area of one side and multiply by two find the area of another side and multiply by two find the area of another side and multiply by two so if you look at the screen we could do this find the bottom multiply it by two so we'd get top and bottom second we could find the area of the left multiply it by two we'd get left and right find the area of the front multiply it by two we'd get front and back and that is how we arrived at this formula and that would be nice if you were working for a prism. But for the cube, we could just simply say 6 times the length times width because the cube has 6 equal sides. So for that reason, we could use this for the cube. For the prism, it would be a little different and this would be a little more suitable if we were using a prism. So the surface area is going to be 2 times 4 plus 2 times 4 plus 2 times 4 and we are going to end up with 24 centimeters square. So we're going to have 24 centimeters square for the total surface area of the cube we are using. So that's the calculation for the surface area. Now we want to look at the volume. Now to calculate the volume, it's always going to be length times width times height. So length times width times height. And the measurement is right here. So while we're doing length times width for area, now we're doing length times width times height. There we go. Volume, length times width times height. So we have the volume here to be 2 times 2 times 2, and that's going to give you 8. So it's 2 for that side, 2 for this side, 2 for that side, length times width times height. So our volume here is going to be 8 centimeter cube. Now let us look at the surface area ratio so we have looked at the the area already we have looked at the volume we are going to be dividing by a number that is common to both all right that could bring it to its simplest term so here we are going to start dividing 8 into 8 would get 1 8 into 24 would get 3 right and this is a common number for both. So we'll ask the surface area to volume ratio. So here, this would have been the part for the surface area. 
while the 1 would be for the volume ratio. So 8, the 8 here, 24 to 24 here. So we get a surface area to volume ratio that is equal to 3 to 1. Now, here we have three examples. So we have done the calculation. You could just look at the workout that we have done. And I suggest that you try to see if you could find the surface area the volume and the surface area to volume ratio for the two other and you could choose some numbers that you want to work with get as much practice as is needed for your exams I want you to click the video at the end of this lesson if you have interest in surface area to volume ratio as it relates to circulation or diffusion you've been watching CSEC biology the cover page thanks for watching